After studying this module, you shall be able to know about various congenital diseases, various genetic and chromosomal abnormalities, Klinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, Down syndrome and many more. As we know that the genetic material in an organism is delicately balanced and hence small or minor alterations in this genetic material or in the genetic information's location within the genome can result in some form of phenotypic variation. More substantial changes may be lethal, particularly in animals. In this module, we will discuss about the various types of congenital and genetic anomalies. The genetic anomalies are caused due to the, the chromosomal aberrations or mutations which include modifications in the total number of chromosomes, the deletion of any chromosomal segment or when chromosomal segments or genes are duplicated or when rearrangements take place in the genetic material either among the chromosomes or within it. Also as the main unit of genetic transmission is the chromosome, thus in accordance with the Mendelian laws, the chromosomal aberrations is passed to progeny in a predictable manner, resulting in many unique genetic outcomes. Variation in chromosome number ranges from the addition or loss of one or more chromosomes to the addition of one or more haploid set of chromosomes. Aneuploidy is the condition wherein an individual gains or loses one or more chromosomes rather than having a complete set. Monosomy is defined as the condition wherein there is a loss of single chromosome from a diploid genome. The gain of one chromosome results in the trisomy. So we consider here in this module the various types of genetic anomalies that include the loss or gain of chromosomes and to examine how such anomalies result. For example, when the chromosomes are altered, how did they, they result in the various syndrome? We see the chromosomal variations. The gain that is 47 chromosome having XXY or loss that is the 45 X of an X chromosome from an otherwise diploid genome affects the phenotype resulting in Klinefelter syndrome or Turner syndrome respectively. That means the 47XXY will be the Klinefelter syndrome and the 45 that is the XO will be the Turner syndrome. Human females may contain extra X chromosome. For example, 47 that is the triple X or the 48 that is the tetra X and some males may contain an extra chromosome like XYY that means the 47 XYY. These variations in chromosomes arise due to the random errors during the process of gamete formation also known as non-disjunction wherein paired homologous chromosomes fail to disjoin during segregation. This process disrupts the normal distribution of the chromosome into gametes and hence abnormal gamete gametes can form containing either two members of the affected chromosome or none at all. Fertilizing these with a normal haploid gamete produces a zygote with either three members trisomy or only one member that is monosomy of this chromosome. In case of humans and other organisms, aneuploidy condition result due to non-disjunction of chromosome. Monosomy is the condition that produces 2 and minus 1 complement due to the loss of one chromosome. Although monosomy for the X chromosome occurs in humans, only in cases of Turner syndrome, monosomy for one of the autosomes is not usually tolerated in humans or other animals. In general, the effects of trisomy that is 2 and plus 1 are parallel to those of monosomy. Nevertheless, when an extra chromosome is added, more viable individuals are produced in both plant and animal species than does the loss of a chromosome. In animals, this is often true, provided that the chromosome involved is relatively small. However, the addition of a large autosome to the diploid complement in humans has severe effects and is usually lethal during development. Klinefelter syndrome. Humans contain 23 pairs of chromosomes out of which one pair vary in configuration in males and females. These two chromosomes have designated as sex chromosomes X and Y. The human female has two X chromosomes and the human male has one X and one Y chromosome. In about 1940, scientists identified two human abnormalities characterized by aberrant sexual development. The Klinefelter syndrome that is 47 XXY 
and the terminal syndrome that is 45X. Individuals with Klein-Felter syndrome have more than one chromosome. In addition to 44 autosomes, they also have the XXY complement. Most often they have an X, XXY complement in addition to 44 autosomes, which is why people with this karyotype are designated as 47XXY. Individuals with Klein-Felter syndrome are generally tall and have long arms and legs and large hands and feet. They usually have genitalia and internal ducts that are male, but their testes are rudimentary and fail to produce sperm. At the same time, feminine skull development is not entirely suppressed. Slight enlargement of the breast that is gynecomasia is common and the hips are often rounded. This ambiguous sexual development referred to as intersexuality can lead to abnormal social development. Intelligence is often below the normal range as well. Klein-Felter syndrome occurs in about one of every 660 male births. The karyotypes 48 that is triple XY or 48 double X double Y or 49 tetra X and Y and 49 that is triple X and double Y are similar phenotypically to the 47 double XY. But manifestations are often more severe in individuals with a greater number of X chromosome. Then Turner syndrome. Individuals with Turner syndrome most often have only 45 chromosomes including just a single X chromosome. Thus they are designated as 45X. In Turner syndrome, the affected individual has female external genitalia and internal ducts, but the ovaries are rudimentary. Other characteristic abnormalities include short stature, usually under 5 feet, cognitive impairment, skin folds on the back of the neck and underdeveloped breasts. A broad shield-like chest is sometimes noted. In 1959, the karyotypes of individuals with these syndromes were determined to be abnormal with respect to the sex chromosome. Turner syndrome can also result from karyotypes other than 45X, including individuals called as mosaics, whose somatic cells display two different genetic cell lines, each exhibiting a different karyotype. Such cell lines result from a mitotic error during early development, the most common chromosome combinations being 45 or X46, XY and 45 or X46 double X. Thus an embryo that began life with a normal karyotype can give rise to an individual whose cells show a mixture of karyotypes and who exhibits varying aspects of this syndrome. Turner syndrome is observed in about 1 in 2000 female births, a frequency much lower than that for the Klinefelter syndrome. One explanation for this difference is the observation that the majority of 45 X fetuses die in utero and are aborted spontaneously. Thus, a similar frequency of the two syndromes may occur at conception. Then another condition is the 47 of the triple X syndrome, also called as super female. The abnormal presence of three X chromosomes along with the normal set of autosomes that is 47 triple X results in female differentiation. The highly variable syndrome that accompanies this type often called triplo X occurs in about one of 1000 female births, frequently 47 triple X women are perfectly normal and may remain unaware of their abnormality in chromosome number unless a karyotype is done. In some other cases, mental retardation, sterility, underdeveloped secondary characteristics and delayed development of language and motor skills may occur. In rare instances, 48 that is tetra X and 49 that is penta X karyotypes have been reported. The syndromes associated with these karyotypes are similar to but more pronounced than the 47 triple X syndrome. Thus in many cases, the presence of additional X chromosome appears to disrupt the delicate balance of genetic information essential to normal female development. Then 47 X double Y syndrome or X Y Y syndrome. Another human condition involving the sex chromosome is the 47 X Y Y. Studies of this condition where the only deviation from diploid is the presence of an additional Y chromosome in an otherwise normal male karyotype were initiated in 1965 by Patricia Jacobs. She discovered that 9 of 315 males in a Scottish maximum security prison had the 47 XYY karyotype. These males were significantly above average in height and had been incarcerated as the result of antisocial or the non-violent criminal act. Of the 9 males he studied, 7 were of subnormal intelligence and all suffered personality disorder. 
the possible correlation between this chromosome composition and criminal behavior picked considerable interest and extensive investigation of the phenotype and frequency of the 47 XYY condition in both criminal and non-criminal populations ensued. Above average height, usually over 6 feet and subnormal intelligence have been generally substantiated and the frequency of males displaying this karyotype is indeed higher among people in penal and mental uh, institutions than among unincarcerated populations. A particularly relevant question involves the characteristics displayed by XYY males who are not incarcerated. The only nearly constant association is that such individuals are over 6 feet tall. Then let us see the Down syndrome or the trisomy of 21st. The only human autosomal trisomy in which a significant number of individuals survived longer than a year past birth was discovered in 1866 by Langdon Down. The condition is known to result from trisomy of chromosome 21 and is called Down syndrome or simple trisomy 21st designated as 47 21 plus. Typical of other conditions classified as syndromes many phenotypic characteristics may be present in trisomy 21 but any single affected individual usually exhibits only a subset of these. In the case of Down syndrome there are 12 to 14 such characteristics with each individual on an average expressing 6 to 8 of them. Nevertheless, the outward appearance of these individuals is very similar and they bear a striking resemblance to one another. This is for the most part due to a prominent epicanthic fold in each eye and the typically flat face and the round head. Pupil with Down syndrome are also characteristically short and may have a protruding furrowed tongue which causes the mouth to remain partially open and short broad hands with characteristic palm and fingerprint patterns. Physical, psychomotor and mental developments are retarded and poor muscle tone is the characteristic. While life expectancy is shortened to an average of about 50 years, individuals are known to survive into their 60s also. In the way of further illustrating the impact of just one additional chromosome in an otherwise deployed genome, children afflicted with Down syndrome are prone to respiratory disease and heart malformations. And they show an incidence of leukemia approximately 20 times higher than that of the normal population. In addition, death in older Down syndrome adults is frequently due to Alzheimer's disease, the onset of which occurs at a much earlier age than in the normal population. Besides Down syndrome, only two human trisomies and no monosomies survive to term. They are the Patau syndrome and the Edwards syndrome. Patau that is again 47 but trisomy of 13th and Edwards syndrome that is the trisomy of 18th. Even so, these individuals manifest severe malformations and early lethality. Then other syndrome is the Cree du Cat syndrome. This syndrome is associated with the loss of a small variable part of the short arm of chromosome number 5. Thus, the genetic constitution may be designated as 46 5p minus, meaning that the individual has all 46 chromosome, but the sum or all of the p arm that is the petite or short arm of one member of the chromosome 5 pair is missing. Infants with this syndrome may exhibit anatomic malformations including gastrointestinal and cardiac complications and they are often mentally retarded. Abnormal development of the glottis and larynx leading to characteristic cry is typical of this syndrome. An incidence of 1 in 25,000 to 50,000 live birth has been estimated. Most often the condition is not inherited but instead results from the sporadic loss of chromosomal material in gametes. The length of the short arm that is deleted varies somewhat. Longer deletions appear to have a greater impact on the physical, psychomotor and mental skill levels of those children who survive. Although the effects of this syndrome are severe, most individuals achieve motor and language skills and may be home cared. In 2004, it was reported that the portions of the chromosome that is missing contains the TERT gene, TERT gene, which encodes telomerase reverse transcriptase, an enzyme essential for the maintenance of telomeres during DNA replication. Whether the absence of this gene on one homologue is related to the multiple phenotype of Cree du Cat infants is still not known. 
Then next syndrome is the fragile X syndrome also called as Martin Bell syndrome. Sometimes gaps appear at positions within the set of chromosomes and such areas eventually came to be known as fragile sites. While most fragile sites do not appear to be associated with any clinical syndrome, individuals bearing a folate sensitive site on the X chromosome exhibit the fragile X syndrome or the Martin Bell syndrome, the most common form of inherited mental retardation. This syndrome affects about 1 in 4,000 males and uh, 1 in 8,000 females. Since affected females usually carry only one fragile X chromosome, this disorder is considered a dominant trait. Fortunately, penetrance is not complete and the trait is fully expressed in only about 30% of fragile X bearing females and 80% of fragile X bearing males. In addition to mental retardation, affected males have characteristic long narrow faces with protruding chins, enlarged ears and increased testicular size. To summarize the topic, the genetic anomalies are caused to do, due to the chromosomal aberrations or mutations which include modifications in the total number of chromosomes, the deletions or when chromosomal segments or genes are duplicated and when rearrangements take place in the genetic material either among the chromosomes or within it. The gain that is 47XXY or loss 45X of an X chromosome from an otherwise diploid genome affects the phenotype resulting in klein felter syndrome or Turner syndrome respectively. Monosomy is the condition that produces 2 and minus 1 complement due to the loss of one chromosome. Two human abnormalities characterized by aberrant sexual development manifest as klein felter and Turner syndrome and triple X and XYY are also found frequently. Down's trisomy 21, Patau, Edward, Creducat and fragile syndromes are other genetic abnormalities which are frequently found.